In this lesson, we're going to walk through how to install and configure Node and the Node Package Manager, also called NPM, on our Linux machine. Now, you may think that in order to install Node, that you simply have to come here to the Node.js site and click Download. And if you're on a Windows machine, then you would be able to do that. But there are a few more steps with Linux, and so that's what we're going to walk through in this guide. Now, if you go to the Ask Ubuntu forum on this, and if you ask how to install the latest version of Node.js and NPM, you will get an incredible flamethrow type war on what is the right way and the wrong way to install Node on a Linux system. So this is not as simple as you may think. And so that is why it's very important to follow along. And uh, especially because, uh, interestingly enough, the accepted answer, and by far the most popular one, is something that's quite dangerous from a security perspective. What this individual said to do was to call curl, which curl is a command that you use whenever you want to pull in data from an outside URL on the from the command line. And so they're saying to call curl with this URL and then to sudo this with the bash. Now, if everything I just said sounds like a foreign language, don't worry. We're not, you don't need to know the ins and outs of everything right here. Uh, just know that essentially what they're saying to do is to allow this URL to have root access to your entire system. And so if this node source site were to get hacked, so even if they didn't do it on purpose, but imagine that they got hacked and you ran this command, you could be giving those hackers access to your system and giving access to your virtual box is bad enough but imagine that you follow these same steps when it's time for you to install node on one of your company's servers that could lead to a number of security risks so I really would not recommend doing this and this is definitely not the way that we're going to do it and if you even look down into the comments you'll see different comments like curling into the root shell is so wrong in so many ways and this gentleman is perfectly accurate with that statement. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to use a tool called NVM, and this stands for Node Version Manager. And so this is going to give us a secure and stable way of working with Node. So the way that we can do this is we're going to follow the installation instructions. And the first thing we're going to do is we are going to curl, but we're not going to give root access to bash. So even if this install script was a bad one, they are not going to be able to do anything with admin privileges. So this is a much more secure way of doing this. Oh, and before we do this, we also are going to need to install curl if your system did not come with that by default. So in order to do that, we can just say sudo apt-get install curl and then give your sudo password, and then this is going to go and install curl for you. Now that we have that, come back and copy this entire command, and then paste it directly into the terminal, and then this is going to perform a few steps for us. So the very first thing that it's going to do is it's gonna bring down NVM, and if I type ls tilde slash dot, NVM. This isn't going to run a process. It's simply going to list out this file. So NVM installed this directory on our system, and it's simply a set of scripts and tools that we can use to customize the Node version manager if we want to. But we're not going to worry about that right now. The other thing that it did is it configured our Bash script, which uh, if we are working right now in the terminal, this is what is called the bash terminal. And so if you're working in the bash terminal, you need to have certain commands. So if I want to type in what I'm going to do here. So if I want to type in nvm dash V, Oh, and it looks like we need to restart our computer because, or not computer, just the uh, terminal because it didn't find it. So if I want it to find it, I can click back on the terminal here and plus plus 
nvm dash v and so now it's working so i'm glad i ran into that error because uh, it's interesting yeah, i've installed nvm a number of times and i'd say 90 out of 100 times it works with the first install but occasionally you do have to restart the terminal so if yours didn't work either that's the way you can fix it and so if it, now what i just typed when i say nvm dash v in order for me to be able to type this the system has to know about it. So Linux has to be aware of this NVM command. So the way that they did that is when they installed it, they updated our settings file. So you can find that if you go to vim tilde slash dot bash rc. If you go all the way down the bottom, which you can do by typing in shift g, you can see it added three lines of code with NVM in it. And so that gives us access to, as you can see, this .nvm directory, the one we just looked at, and then it adds some helpful shell commands. So that's how we're able to run all of our NVM code. Now remember to get out of vim, it is colon QA, and then we now can actually install Node. So let's come back to the instructions here, scroll down a little bit and verify. Uh, I just want, it's been a while since I installed a new version of Node. So just make sure that I have the right commands. I'm pretty sure it's npm install node and yep, there it is. So we're just gonna type nvm install node and this should bring it down for us. So nvm install node and for right now i'm just going to pass it this by itself you also can install other versions of node but because this is a fresh install this should bring down the latest version so it's going to go out and as you can see it's bringing in node version 99 and so it looks like everything there worked if i type node dash v that works. So that is telling us that we have access to Node on our system. And if I say npm, we will see that this was brought in automatically. So npm-v, and it has npm 5.6. So when we installed Node, we also got npm just for free. So that's helpful. But let's not trust that this is working. Let's actually make npm do something. That will be more fun. So let's come to this site, which I will put in the show notes. And this is a, a React package. It's really JavaScript. Uh, it's a system that I built out that will auto-generate React and JavaScript applications for you. So uh, in order to test if NPM is working, we can simply run this command. And if it is working, then this is going to give us the ability to build JavaScript applications with just a couple clicks. It if you're following along and you're not in a track that does anything with JavaScript, this is still just a good way of making sure that npm and node is installed properly. So type in npm i, uh, add a dash g flag to install it globally, and then enter. And it looks like everything is working. It's going and installing it. And there, yes, it worked. Now to triple check that it's working, type js dash generate. And then if everything's working, this should ask us one question. So it's what project template would you like to generate? We'll say just a React Redux router one. And then what is the project name? It's my React tester. And so now I can change into this React tester directory here. And if I type ls, you can see we have all of the various files. So when we ran that generator, everything works. So that means we have JavaScript properly installed, we have Node, we have the NPM, and they're all working flawlessly. So very nice if you went through that. You now know how to work with the Node version manager and how to securely get Node and NPM on your Linux machine.